This Sunday after Pentecost is the solemnity of the Holy Trinity for us. The mystery of the Most Holy Trinity is a basic doctrine of faith in Christianity, understandable not with our heads, but with our hearts. This mysterious doctrine about God is the center of our faith because it gives us a glimpse into the inner life of God himself. And it is the center of our life because we are called to be living images of God, created to love and be loved. The summary of all Jesus' teachings is to love God with all our heart and to love our neighbor as ourselves. We have been going through a challenging time due to the pandemic and upon that now we have the civil unrest as well. It was sickening to see the footage of the killing of George Floyd. Pope Francis made his first public remarks on George Floyd's death during last Wednesday prayer at the Vatican. We cannot tolerate or turn a blind eye to racism and exclusion in any form and yet claim to defend the sacredness of every human life. Francis also condemned violence seen at protests across the U.S., saying, nothing is gained from the self-destructive and self-defeating action. When is the dream of a peaceful world becoming true? I'm reminded of the words of Eleanor Roosevelt, for it isn't enough to talk about peace, one must believe in it, and it isn't enough to believe in it one must work at it. Why are we not able to believe and work on the notion that we are all children of one God, brothers and sisters of one family, regardless of our color, race, gender, status, profession, or other differences? Thank God that the unrest situation is better now compared to a week ago. If we look into the reasons for the de-escalation of the situation, first, all the accused officers were charged. Second, a different approach to the protesters by the police itself. The nature of the protests started to change when some members of the law enforcement showed solidarity with demonstrators by kneeling alongside them, exchanging hugs, and participating in marches in different parts of the country. That's the only way to have peace in this world. As Mahatma Gandhi said, an eye for an eye will only make the entire world go blind. There is an interesting story from the life of Abraham Lincoln. During the war at the battlefront, one of the soldiers had a heated argument with Abraham Lincoln. Overtaken by rage, the soldier slapped Lincoln and escaped into his barracks. Abraham Lincoln could have got him arrested, court-martialed, and severely punished for that unpardonable crime. Instead, he went to the barracks and sat with that soldier and begged him for forgiveness. I'm so sorry for making you so angry to lose your temper to the point of physically attacking me. I must have offended you terribly. Will you forgive me? It is said that they became great friends and later that soldier sacrificed his life to defend Lincoln. This was an example of an issue proactively dealt with by a great person. It may not work out in every situation, especially in case of fighting against a social evil like racism. Silence is a virtue, but not all the time. Sometimes we need to raise our voices through peaceful and non-violent protests. It is foolish to think that violence, arms and ammunition will bring peace into our world. They will only augment fear, hatred, and anger. Only love, mercy, and forgiveness will bring peace in our world. 
What makes Christianity distinct from any other religion is the quality known as grace, that is, God's own life working in us so that we are able to treat others, not as they deserve, but with love, kindness, and mercy. God is good to the just as well as to the unjust. His love conquers our hurts, fears, prejudices, and grief. Only the cross of Jesus can free us from the tyranny of malice, hatred, revenge, and resentment, and give us the courage to return good for evil. Let us pray for a supernatural desire to rid ourselves of the harm that bias and prejudice cause. Let us plead the spirit of truth to touch the hearts of all in the United States and to come down upon our criminal justice and law enforcement systems. Finally, let us, regardless of our ethnicity, beg God to heal our deeply broken view of each other as well as our deeply broken society. God bless.